Pig Jimmy, you could call me DJ, and if you're watching this video, you might be new to cigars. And welcome to the bushel of bad apples. You want to join the bushel? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join this wonderfully messed up family. So, today's topic is a very simple topic. There's a lot of these out there on YouTube, but I want to go ahead and make one myself because I think some of them become overly complicated. And that topic is, what do you need to get started smoking cigars? And it's, it's twofold. It's only twofold. A cigar and something to light it with. That's as simple as it goes. You simply need a cigar and something to light it with. Those are two basic things you need. It's the people that have these, these top 10 lists and top this, this, and you need that and this and that and this and this and that. And then what you really need is a cigar to enjoy, a way to light it. Now, one other thing you do need is something to cut off this top piece right here, which we then call the cap. Some cigars have one cap, a two cap, a three cap, but it's really it's just, you're gonna circumcise your cigar just a wee little bit and let the tip show. But do you need to know the mathematical scientific breakdown of this cigar to really enjoy it? Absolutely not. You don't need to do that at all, really. What you need to know is that you cut this side and you light this side. But how do you cut this side? You don't want to cut too much. That's true. That's true. That's true. You don't want to cut too much. You want to just mm, snip. How much is too much? How do you know? How do you do it? Do you need a special fancy V cutter? Do you need to have what's called a V cutter right here that scoops out a little vagina in your cigar? No, you don't. You don't need that. You don't need that. Do you need a cigar guillotine cutter? A double guillotine cutter, a very nice double guillotine cutter. That'll work. That'll work. Do you have to have that? No. Could you punch your cigar? And what do I mean by punch a cigar? A punch is simply digging a hole in it, kind of like a cantaloupe scoop. That's this guy right here. You could shove it in and put a hole in your cigar. But what if you don't have any of those things? You know, when I had my very first cigar, all I had with me was a knife. And it wasn't even a nice knife like this one right here. But I got a buddy of mine. He uses a screw in every single one of his cigars, and he simply jams the screw in there and pulls it out, because why? The only purpose to removing this top piece is so that air can come through. And like I've said before, you can use a guillotine cutter, which is the two blades. You know what a guillotine is. You've seen the French Revolution. You can use a, a nail, a screw. People use their fingernail. Cowboys bite it up. Do I recommend doing any of those things? No, if you get yourself a nice, cheap cutter, go for it. But you got a knife, and a little bit of patience, and you can clearly see the line, you just, you give the cigar a wee bit of a haircut here, and you just kind of hold it on there, and you just give him a little bit of a boop, Lloyd Christmas, there you go, and that's gone, and that's it. Now look, right? Now there's airflow. Now you can smoke the cigar. So you're ready to light the cigar. You're ready to light the cigar, right? How, well, again, again, so many choices, what do we do? People will tell you there's rules to cigars. You gotta do special things to cigars. You gotta have special processes for cigars. You need fire. So do you need a fancy triple flame torch lighter? And I say fancy, this one right here is like 15 bucks on Amazon and I think you get two. That's it. Fire, fire, there's fire right there. Could you be cool and use a Zippo? You could use a Zippo, you could use a Zippo. Now this is a butane insert, which means it's clean burning gas, but you, I've, I've smoked a cigar with standard Zippo lighter fluid before. Worked just fine for me. Um, now you could be traditional and you could have matches. You, you know how fire works? It's, it's fire, it's just you, just, you just need fire, that's all. What do you need to get started smoking your cigar? A cigar and fire. And some way to remove this cap, but I mean, teeth fingernail, a nail. That's the basics of what you need to smoke a cigar. You need to know not to inhale the cigar as well, but as far as sticking this thing in your mouth and lighting it up, that's all. Very simple video. You don't need this big fancy tutorial that you're gonna see by these well-established YouTubers out there. They're gonna tell you you need 52,000 things. Now, I will tell you this. You, you find out you enjoy cigars. You like cigars, you enjoy cigars, you wanna get into it more, and you wanna buy more than one at a time. Okay. Now you need do you do need something else. You need a box or a bag. You need somewhere to store your cigars so that they stay safe, that they stay safe, and what's called humidified, uh, not too wet but not too dry, basically, while you're not smoking them. 
They need a home. You gotta buy your cigars a nice little home. And in needing a quality box, an option you can certainly go with is the need one cigar humidor box right here. It's a Spanish cedar box. It smells like Spanish cedar. It feels like Spanish cedar. It's a nice little clear top desktop humidor right here so you can keep a good eye on your cigars. It's supposed to hold between 30 and 50 cigars right here. It comes with an analog hygrometer. It's at least an option for you to have so it comes with something more than just a box but what I would recommend getting a cheap digital hygrometer. If you don't know what that is, which you shouldn't because you're new to cigars if you clicked on this video, it's just a little thing that tells you how humid it is inside your box. They're cheaper on Amazon. You can buy them like four bucks. But this is a decent option right here. It's a nice little solid wooden box. You can, as you can see, you can hold uh, quite a good amount of cigars in here. I mean, I think I got this about three, three or four layers deep just filled with cigars. I didn't think to count how many I put in there. And you know, it's nice. Is it gonna change the game as far as cigar boxes go? No, but for something on the analog side, maybe you like just, you like the, the idea of having something truly wooden. A solid box is all you really need to keep your cigars secure. Something that's gonna keep them out of harm's way, out of danger, and it's gonna help them stay a little more humidified because you can't let your cigars get too wet and you can't let your cigars get too dry. So you're gonna need a box like this. And then of course, if you do have a box like this, the one other thing you're gonna need, you need something to hold the humidification. The box is to protect your cigars and to help hold the humidification. The way the humidification stays in there is with a simple pack like this. But that's it. What do you need to start smoking cigars? A cigar and a way to light it on fire, baby. And if you wanna keep cigars and you wanna get into cigars, get yourself a box like this. Need one's a perfectly fine option or go with something else. If you want something real cheap, go with a Tupperdor. It doesn't really have to be anything fancy, just something that makes sure your cigars are safe and at a decent humidification. That's really it. But that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to let them know in the comments down below. I'm sure the bushel will take care of you because they are more knowledgeable than I and some of them are very particular. But I'm sure I got some things wrong and if not, that's okay. You can go do your own research and ask somebody else because I'm just some guy on the internet smoking cigars in his garage. One of the many guys in his garage smoking cigars. Like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching PJ and I will see you in the next video. Peace.